All right there folks, welcome back to the channel. Now, it's touching 30 degrees today and I don't think I've picked the right topic for this particular video because I want to talk about bib and brace, <laughs> waterproofs basically. Um, there's no getting away from it. They are an absolutely essential bit of kit, particularly in winter or when it's raining and stuff like that. You want to keep dry, you want to keep the snot and slime off of you and ground bait bits and everything like that. Um, but I do wear mine through summer as well, especially if I'm on a commercial and I know I'm going to be bagging up with carp. I don't want to get splattered with water. I want to keep all that off me, basically. Um, and for that reason, I have two pairs that I use. Now, the first one are these. And these are by MIDI, okay? And it's the MX800. And I use these in winter when it's, when it's cold. And the reason for that is because they are fleece lined on the inside okay that is an absolutely really warm beautiful fleece um now as i've said these are waterproof as well but not as waterproof as the next pair that i'm going to show you um i can't remember the aqua rating on these but it is something to bear in mind if you're going to be fishing out in um it's like torrential rain and stuff like that it, it might be worth looking for something else and layering up underneath your bib and brace uh, before you purchase these but I use them a lot when I'm low fishing through winter because they keep me warm and they're light enough to walk around in and stuff like that. I don't get too sweaty. Um, so, pros and cons to both. Now, another little feature that I do like on these ones is this, okay? It's the external flap. It's a double flap. And by that, the zip is there, okay? So that goes over and that goes over there. Now, you'll notice this little bit here, okay? And that is called the gutter, the rain gutter. And if you imagine if it's proper proper pouring down okay the wind the rain's coming in the wind's forcing it in there it's going to go in there and that channel there stops it going through the zip and that is a, is a good little feature because you don't get that on the next pair that i'm going to show you but there's a reason for that um so those are the midi mx800 ones um i've had these for about a year now and i can't fault them at all they're a good fit okay i'm i'm xl um and they are quite a good fit they're not massively tight they're not restrictive but they're not mega baggy either they do keep you nice and warm and, and with those i can wear just a little little light hoodie underneath a waterproof over the top and i can fish all day quite happily whether that be sat at a commercial on a riverbank or wandering up and down doing a bit of low fishing so definitely something to have a look at again i'm going to put links in the description for these um, so you can go and check them out and check other people's uh, reviews and feedbacks as well uh, the pros and cons and stuff like that but if you're after a warm set for winter fishing i wouldn't go much further than them to be fair the other option obviously is the imax ones if you've seen them they're really really good and quite good value as well um, so they might be another option i'll put a link in the description for them but i've never worn them i've never owned a pair so i can't really comment as to the pros and cons on them now moving on then the second pair that i always wear when i don't need to be as warm but i want to keep dry and it's these it's the preston and it's the df30 okay i've got the bib and brace and i've also got the jacket um which is stuffed up there and these are fantastic i mean these are the highest rated waterproof that i could find on the market at the time and i wear these pretty much every single session through summer when i'm not fussed about being mega warm now <clears throat> you will have heard me mention about the rain gutter on the midi ones because it's external and it covers the zip now on the preston ones you don't get that but what you've got is a massive storm seal on the zip so it kind of matches right up and that is really difficult to get through now if if by chance water did come through what preston have done is actually put that rain gutter on the inside of the jacket now you might be thinking oh that's not an issue but if it does get through this outer layer and it ends up going in there there is no runoff down there except into your crotch now <laughs> It, it, it probably won't happen but I've, I've always got that niggling doubt in my back of my mind that if I ever fished in monsoon conditions that if that came through and then I took them off it's going to look like I've peed myself a little bit 
might not be an issue. It could be an issue, I don't know. I'm not really fussed by that because I don't honestly think it'll happen anyway. But that's just how my mind works. And uh, as you get to know me through the channel, you'll realize I'm a bit unhinged sometimes. But anyway, stick with me, it's worth it. Um, but yeah, and apart from that, they're, um, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, you've got microfiber fleece lined pockets. Um, you've got the same on the midi. Uh, they're just open pockets, uh, no zips, but they've got the thick microfiber fleece in there as well pocket on either side um, strap wise I do like the Preston setup because you've just got the one coming up the back and then it splits and they just seem to sit on the shoulders a little bit better um, you've got a tiny little one there with the midi uh, it does a similar sort of job but you've got two straps and that kind of works well as well it's it's kind of the, they've picked their own way of, of doing it and if maybe they'd have rung each other and said oh this is what we're doing this is what we're doing and they'd combined both it would have been perfect um but we can't have everything can we um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed that one uh, that's just a quick run through of the bim braces that i use and why i use them and as i said i'll pop links in the description below and you can go and check them out and uh, i'll catch you all next time cheers